For a second straight weekend, two people are dead as a result from street racing in Milwaukee. The reckless driving so common that many have deemed it to be a public health issue. Our Brett Lemoyne live near 76 in Silver Spring with more on what happened. Brett? Yeah, and Ted, a community member we spoke with today who's actively engaged in trying to stop reckless driving. He says far too many young people are mimicking what they see in the Fast and the Furious movies. But, you know, thousands of reckless drivers like these individuals here likely behind us are getting ticketed. But he says only half of them bothered to pay. It's happened again. Another weekend. Two more innocent victims killed in basically street racing. Steve O'Connell is a Coalition for Safe Driving MKE member. He's heartbroken to hear a 66-year-old man and a 21-year-old woman, both from Milwaukee, died at the scene of a drag race Sunday night. Milwaukee police tell us it happened just after 7. Two vehicles were racing and ignored a red light near 76th and Silver Spring. One of the drivers struck the victim's vehicle, killing them both. It's a public health issue. Um, you walk around here, our neighbors are not going out after 10 in the morning. They're not driving on Capitol Drive. They're not going near Fond du Lac. Some are using the tragedy to try and force change. Community activist Tracy Dent is starting a petition to promote increased penalties for reckless drivers. Is there a need to raise the fines? Are they paying the fines? Are they being held accountable? Common Council President Cavalier Johnson calling on the DOT and Public Works to physically make changes to state highways that would cut down on reckless driving. Just last weekend, two 22-year-olds were killed near 60th and Hampton during another street race. Two drivers there arrested. These people murdered people. They murdered people and they have to be treated like that. Last month, Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett announced $6 million in American Rescue Act funds that would be devoted to curbing reckless driving, with more than a million to MPD to increase enforcement. That file is sitting in City Hall, and I wanted to see it enacted. O'Connell says it's getting harder and harder to comprehend the enormity of this problem. Too many lives cut short in the street. These are innocent victims. Um, that's what drives me nuts about the whole thing. Um, they didn't see it coming. And from Sunday's crash, police say a 24-year-old man who was behind the wheel of the striking vehicle and the 26-year-old man he was racing, they are both now in custody. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Brett LeBoyne, Fox 6 News. Interesting uh, what charges lie ahead for both of them. Brett, thanks.